Hello and welcome back to the Florida Rights Institute informational video series. We're going to cover the top five Florida gun law myths and debunk them. The following presentation is meant for informational purposes only and is not intended as legal advice. Seek a licensed attorney if you need legal assistance. Number five, there is a general duty to disclose if you have a gun. There is no such thing as a generalized duty to disclose that you have a firearm to a police officer in Florida. The Fifth Amendment right to not self-incriminate means that you have a general right to remain silent and state that you do not wish to speak to an officer. The only disclosure requirement comes from having a concealed weapons license where the duty is limited to the following context. The CWL duty to inform according to Florida Statute 790.061 is that the licensee must carry the license together with valid identification at all times in which a licensee is in actual possession of a concealed weapon or firearm and must display both the license and proper identification upon demand by a law enforcement officer. So the elements here are actual possession, concealed weapon or firearm, display both a license and ID upon demand by a law enforcement officer. Violations of the provisions of this subsection shall constitute a non-criminal violation with a penalty of $25 payable to the clerk of court. Number four, you cannot have a rifle visible in a vehicle. While there are prohibitions on certain kinds of carry in vehicles for handguns and prohibited places where guns cannot be brought, the Florida statutes exempt rifles from a general prohibition. Florida Statute 790.255 says, Possession and Private Conveyance. Notwithstanding subsection 2, it is lawful and is not a violation of section 790.01 for a person 18 years of age or older to possess a concealed firearm or other weapon for self-defense or other lawful purpose within the interior of a private conveyance without a license if the firearm or other weapon is securely encased or is otherwise not readily accessible for immediate use. Nothing herein contained prohibits the carrying of a legal firearm, other than a handgun, anywhere in a private conveyance when such a firearm is being carried for lawful use. So it's a nuanced catch-all, but this means that rifles are separated from the limitations on handguns in a vehicle. There are prohibited places for rifles, but that is not covered here. Number three, there is no such thing as legal open carry in Florida. The Florida statutes mention four activities where open carry is permitted while going to, being engaged in, and coming from said activities activities, hunting, fishing, camping, and the shooting range. What specific actions count as hunting, fishing, or camping are not specified. The case law on this topic is limited as arrests over these situations have been rare. In Norman v. State, there was a recent challenge to the open carry ban, but the Florida Supreme Court upheld the rules under an intermediate scrutiny test as guns were not outright banned from being carried due to the shall issue CCW permits. The plain language and liberal interpretation should protect individuals so long as they are otherwise not violating law as to where guns can be carried, for example, school grounds. In addition to those four exceptions, the plain language of the Florida statutes has been interpreted to mean that an employer or employee may carry a firearm openly at their place of business. An employer could have an independent policy of banning employees from carrying, though, on the premises. In fact, business carry is pretty robust. In an attorney general opinion on business carry from 1974, the attorney general stated, A tenant doing business in a building rented from the owner of a shopping center may carry a concealed firearm within the confines of said building and also while patrolling a sidewalk immediately adjacent to said building. This would also be applicable with respect to a service area outside of said building, but constituting a necessary adjunct to the business. A concealed firearm may not be carried throughout the entire parking area which serves the shopping center by either the tenant or his employee, or the owner of the shopping center or his authorized employee. And of course, in addition to business, open carry in one's home is also permitted. The plain language of the Florida statutes has been interpreted to mean that a person may open carry at his or her home. It's important to note what constitutes the home, though, if one lives in a place with shared spaces like apartments. Common areas in an apartment complex are not considered the home generally. Privately owned yards and driveways on one's own home are considered part of the home generally, though. Hotel and motel rooms may even be considered a home if it is a stable residence. Number two, a gun that prints is not concealed. Printing is the idea that a concealed gun shape or outline is noticeable under the clothes of someone carrying it. This is not speaking to see-through clothes, however, just shape. There is no such thing as a specified printing ban in Florida. Florida Statute 790.0012 states, A concealed firearm means any firearm, as defined in subsection 6, which is carried on or about a person in such a manner as to conceal a firearm from the ordinary sight of another person. While there is no on-point case law on this, the clear meaning of the statute is ordinary sight, and the construction of the law is to be read favorably for gun rights. And number one, there is a one, two, or three-step rule for what counts as securely and encased in a vehicle. 
There is no such thing as a numerated step rule for vehicle carry of handguns. Rather, there is a specific statute that outlines manners for lawful carry. 790.255, Possession in Private Conveyance States, notwithstanding subsection 2, it is lawful and is not a violation of section 790.01 for a person 18 years of age or older to possess a concealed firearm or other weapon for self-defense or other lawful purpose within the interior of a private conveyance without a license if the firearm or other weapon is securely encased or is otherwise not readily accessible for immediate use. Nothing herein contained prohibits the carrying of a legal firearm other than a handgun anywhere a private conveyance when such firearm is being carried for a lawful use. Nothing herein contained shall be construed to authorize the carrying of a concealed firearm or other weapon on the person. This subsection shall be liberally construed in favor of the lawful use, ownership, and possession of firearms and other weapons, including lawful self-defense as provided in section 776.012. So what is securely encased? See Florida Statute 790.00117. Securely encased means in a glove compartment, whether or not locked, snapped in a holster, in a gun case, whether or not locked, in a zippered gun case, or in a closed box or container which requires a lid or cover to be open for access. What about readily accessible for their transport? 790.00116. Readily accessible for immediate use means that a firearm or other weapon is carried on the person or within such close proximity and in such a manner that it can be retrieved and used as easily and quickly as if carried on the person. So is there a numbered step process? No. Thank you for watching this video presentation. For more informational and educational videos, please subscribe to this channel and visit www.floridarights.org.